Hi everyone, it's Keely. Welcome back to another video. Um, this week I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. As you guys know, normally when I use my iPad I record um, externally with another camera. Um, this week I decided to upload a pre-recorded time lapse that Procreate saves for you when you use the program. Um, I just haven't really had the time to record recently. I'm sure as you guys know I've missed the last two weeks of uploads, um, but it's for good reason, I promise. Um, my Kickstarter for my tarot deck finally came to an end on August 2nd a few days ago, so I have been very busy with admin work on that. Um, and leading up to that point, I was spending pretty much all day every day working on finishing the cards for the deck so that it could be produced in time. So, I swear I have been doing things, it's just not been YouTube, so I'm sorry about that, but hopefully we can get to a regular uploading schedule again now. Um, I've also been thinking about changing the upload day. I'm not really sure on that. I'm not sure how you guys react with Sundays as a regular day, but if you have any recommendations or preferences, let me know and I'll do my best to uh, cater to those. Um, but anyway, so as I'm sure a lot of you guys know who regularly use iPads and Procreate, um, Procreate recently updated and they added all sorts of good things that uh, users have been asking for for pretty much as long as the app has been out. And one of the things that they added were guided um, drawing guides. I don't know what else to call them. Uh, I think they call it drawing assist, actually. So what happens is you can pop up a uh, grid on your screen. For some reason in this recording here, it does not have it. Um, but while I was drawing the bones of this room, there was a blue uh, isometric grid in the background. Um, and you can add, turn on drawing assist which basically helps your pencil stay straight and guides you down the lines of the guide um, without having to use quick line or anything like that. So it makes straight lines super easy and it also makes drawing rooms from this angle exceptionally easy. I've seen a lot of these recently since this guide has come out because I mean this is the most exciting thing about it in my opinion is that it makes these sorts of rooms extremely easy to draw and map out. Um, so as you could see, I mapped out basically the bare bones of the room, the shape of, like the basic shape of most of the furniture, like the little shelf in the corner, the chest at the foot of the bed. I mapped all those out with just very basic cubes. And then um, immediately I turned the assisted drawing guide off, added a new layer, and then started adding um, more shape and dimension and character to all of the furniture um, to make it something other than a cube, you know what I'm saying? Um, so yeah, that's just the general way I like to use it. It just helps get the perspective of the furniture down before you start adding in the shapes and stuff. As you can see in the back corner there, um, the plant pot started out as just a regular cube. Um, and I didn't obviously use the cube in the final design. It was just for reference on how the angle affected the shape of the plant pot. So it's a super great jumping off point. I had posted this on Instagram and I'd had some people uh, comment that they wish that they could do this without the drawing guides. And let me just say, there's no way that I could do this without the drawing guides. There's no way that a lot of people do what they do without, you know, some sort of grid or like assistance on reference. There's absolutely nothing wrong with using reference in your drawings. It's a jumping off point. It's how you learn. It's how you grow. Um, every great artist who's just amazing at perspective without having to use any reference got that way by using things like this. So I just want to throw that out there that there's absolutely nothing wrong with using these and they're a super great learning tool. Um, they also have other guides on there. I think they have a um, vanishing point guide and I can't remember what the other ones are right now. I think they have just like a regular grid, but the point is that they're super easy for um, using to map out rooms like this and they help with perspective loads, not even just in room drawings. So I think that you guys should definitely check them out. Um, I believe it's in the upper right hand, left hand corner. Um, you can click a the canvas tab and on the canvas tab there should be a drawing guides tab you can click that and you can change the color of your grid the size of the grid the what type of grid you're using you can reposition it you can do all sorts of good stuff you can turn drawing assist on and off um, my point is that I cannot speak highly enough of these grids it's probably my favorite addition that procreate made um, so yeah Anyway, I just want to say thank you for you guys turning, tuning into another video. Um, I 
promise I'll do my best to get back onto a regular uploading schedule, but, you know, we'll see how things go. Um, also, if you guys want to stay updated on how the tarot card deck is going, um, you can keep reading the updates on the Kickstarter as I post those. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll leave all my social media down below, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!